What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to show you where all of the weapon appearances are. So in Legion, there's this weapon appearance tab that was added for all the transbuck stuff that you can make your weapon, your main hand, or your offhand weapon look like a certain enchant. Now some of these you can get from old world bosses, you can get them from enchanting, you can get them from vendors, from holiday events. So I'm going to show you where they all are, and what they look like. So first off, there's five of them that you start with. There's Titan's Guard, Beast Slayer, Crusader, Striking, and then life stealing. They don't look too fancy because you just start out with those five. So now I'm gonna show you guys the enchanting ones. So if you have an enchanter, you can do this easier or you can find an enchanter or you can actually buy these Tomes of Illusion off the auction house if you want to do that. Um, but getting the mats, you know, obviously a longer process, but is uh, somewhat cheaper. So first off, Tomes of Illusion Azeroth will grant you the fiery weapon, unholy weapon, and cold light appearances. So large brilliant shards, you can get those from doing like old world dungeons and then disenchant them to get large brilliant shards. And there's Essence of Fire, Essence of Water, and Essence of Death. The Essence of Fire, I know you can get easily from Molten Core. There's also another illusion in Molten Core that I'll show you later. Essence of Water, you can get from any water elemental in the open world. Azeroth, that is. And then Essence of Undeath, you can get from any undead looking elemental, if that makes sense. I know that there's a place in Winter Spring where you can get them easier. Uh, where's Winter Spring? Everlook. Yeah, it's like this place, the Lake of Keltheril. There's like some undead dudes there, and they can drop the Essence of Undeath. Next up, Tome of Illusions Outland, which will grant you the Battlemaster, Spell Surge, and Nether Flame appearances. So, once again, Void Crystals and Large Prismatic Shards. Those are gotten from doing Outland Dungeons, or raids, items from there, disenchant them. Large Prismatic Shards are from Blues. Void Crystals are from Epics, and then Primal Fires, Primal Manas, you can buy on the Auction House, um, but just find Fire Elementals or Water Elementals in Outland, and they should drop those. Then Tome of Illusions Northrend will give you Berserking, Greater Spell Power, and Icy Chill appearances. Abyss Crystals from Epics in Northrend Dungeons or Raids, and then Dream Shards from Blue Items in Northrend Dungeons or Raids. And then the Greater Cosmetic Essences uh, are from green items in Northrend Dungeons or Raids. Uh, you might get, as you see there, turn greater cosmic essence into three lesser ones. Three lesser ones turn into one greater one. So if you get lesser ones, you can turn them into the greater one. And then Eternal Waters. Kill water elementals around Northrend or buy them off the auction house. Uh, crystallized Waters, if you get 10 of those, you can turn them into an Eternal Water. Next up, Elemental Lords. S no, different expansion. I was about to say same expansion. This is from Cataclysm. Illusions, Elemental Lords, it will give you the Avalanche, Landslide, and Elemental Slayer appearances. We have Maelstrom Crystals from Epics and Cataclysm Dungeons and Raids, and then Volatile Airs, Fires, Earths, Lifes, and Waters all over Azeroth. You can buy those off the Auction House or farm them. I know Volatile Air, you can easily get those from Vortex Pinnacle. Volatile Earth, there's a few places you can get them. You can get them from like Twilight Highlands, uh, Bastion of Twilight has some Elementals in there that you can get it from, and Mount Hajal. Uh, as well as stone core so a few places for that and then volatile fire from any fire em elemental there are a lot of fire elementals around uh fi the firelands area not in the firelands area but around the outside of it in hajal so you can get from there and then for volatile life if you actually go to the zulgrub raid you don't have to kill any bosses but let me actually uh bring up the zulgrub map here right here there's a mini boss called flora wing hive queen and she drops a honeycomb, and that honeycomb uh, you can open up each time, and it can give you volatile airs or lives. You'll get plenty of them. Just kill her, run out of the raid or, res or dungeon, reset it, run back in, kill her, keep doing that, and uh, you should easily get three of each from like two runs. And then for volatile waters, I couldn't really find like a very good spot to farm these. If anyone knows a good spot, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, but there's some in Oldham, just any water elemental you see around the water, uh, around the coast in Oldham. Uh, that was really the only place I could think of. Then we have Tome of Illusions Cataclysm, which will grant you Windwalker, uh, Heart Song, and Light of the Earth Warder. And it has some of the same mats, it's from the same expansion. We have Maelstrom Crystals, which are from Epics in uh, Dungeons Raids from Cataclysm. And then Heavenly Shards are from Blues, Blue items, and then there's Volatile Airs, Airs and Earths once again. Next up, we have Secrets of Shadowpan, which is from Pandaria. This will grant you River Song and Dancing Steel appearances. We have Shaw Crystals, which are from Epics and Pandaria Raids or Dungeons, and then there's River's Heart, 
primordial rubies and sun's radiance if you're not a jewel crafter well you might have to buy those if there's an easy way if you're finding out how to get them and then there you go if you are a jewel crafter or you know someone who is a jewel crafter well prospecting a black trillium ore or white trillium ore will yield you these and you can of course get those ores from well mining them around pandaria or at uh, half hill you know the place where you can plant the plants and then farm them once a day or whatever i don't know it's been so long if you're revered with the tellers you can plant snake root seeds and those will give you a uh, trillium ore per plant either type of trillium ore and then uh you can farm motes of harmonies you can also plant song bell seeds and those can give you motes of harmonies which you can turn uh 10 of them into spirits of harmonies and then at your respective hub porter alliance you can purchase five trillium ores uh, for one Spirit of Harmony. Alright, next up we have Illusions Pandaria. Same expansion as last. This will give you Windsong, Elemental Forces, and Breath of Yulon. So, Shaw Crystals, once again, and then the three other gems. So you can kind of do the method I was saying before, or you can just buy these gems. And then finally we have Illusions Draenor, which will give you Mark of the Frost Wolf and Mark of the Thunder Lord. And then you have Temporal Crystals. Now these are easier you know if you're not an enchanter to get because of your garrison you can get the enchanting hut and then you can disenchant things uh to finally get temporal crystals and then the uh, sorceress air and sorceress water uh, it's a little more difficult to get those because you can't just kill an elemental and they'll drop it you can however turn in i believe it's like 25 primal spirits if you have farmed primal spirits at, uh for one sorceress air at your garrison and same thing for sorceress waters you also do have a chance of getting sorceress airs if you have an enchanting engineering jewel crafting or tailoring building you place work orders and from those work orders you have a chance of getting the sorceress airs and then the sorceress waters you can get them from a uh, alchemy station inscription leatherworking or tailoring just put in work orders and from this work work orders you have a chance of getting sorceress waters and then savage blood uh you can buy this from the auction house you can get those from a barn if you have a barn at your garrison or you can buy them from your primal trader for 25 uh primal spirits so those are all the enchanting ones now let's get on to the reputation grind ones so we're in hajal and you need to be revered with the guardians of hajal so right in this building here we're going to talk to provisioner white cloud and she'll give us the illusion of mending for 60 gold if you're exalted or a little bit more if you're revered so we are in a nether storm now Outland, Nether Storm. You need to be revered with the Consortium people, Ethereal dudes, and uh, we're at Stormspire in Nether Storm, and we're gonna talk to this dude, Karaz, and he will give us the Illusion Executioner, uh, which is just above nine gold if you're exalted. Now this next one is only for shamans, and it's Illusion Flame Tongue. So I'm in uh, Molten Core right now on my shaman, and you get it from killing Ragnaros. So as I said. It's Flame Tongue. We're gonna see if he drops it. Okay, first time I did Molten Core on this tune. That's fine. Uh, didn't drop it. But he does, and he only gives it to Shamans. Now this next one, we are in the Burning Crusade Dungeon. Raid, Serpent Trent Cavern. It is in Zanger Marsh, if you forget where it is. Just go down into the Quaifeng Reservoir, and it is the raid. Go, just go straight. As soon as you go down in there, just go straight. It's behind a waterfall. And uh, we're at the Hydros, the Unstable boss, and this illusion is called, what is it called? Frost, Frost Brand. Illusion Frost Brand. And it is only for shamans as well. So, I'm just pressing buttons here. I don't really know how to play my shaman. And I believe that the, the drop chance for this one is pretty rare. It's like a 1% drop chance. And yeah, it didn't drop for me. Um, But this boss drops it. Now, these next three are in the Burning Crusade version of Karazhan. So here we are, this is level 70, Burning Crusade, Karazhan right here, Deadwind Pass. And you're going to go through the main entrance, obviously. Since uh, some people haven't done this raid in so long, I'm just going to speed up the video to each of the three bosses um, they have to kill to get these illusions. You can do this on any character, they are not class specific. So uh, the first one that we're actually going to be coming up to right now, it is Moros. And he drops the uh, Mongoose illusion. That is the one he drops, and I got it. But I already have it. As you saw at the top there, it says you've cl already collected this appearance.
Okay, here we are coming up to this bookshelf that you want to click on. It's right there by the Guardian's Library. You click on that bookshelf and there is a boss down here named uh, Terrestrian Ilhoof. And he has a chance to give you the Soul Frost illusion. And he gave it to me. Um, all these imps are attacking me. And now here is the last one in Karazhan. Shade of Iran has a chance to give you the uh, Sunfire illusion. And I don't, he didn't give it to me. Oh well. But those were the three bosses in Karazhan. These next two are in Oldwar in Northrend. Oldwar the Raid. The first one we're looking at is Illusion Blade Ward, which can be dropped from any of the Oldwar Keepers. So we're talking about Freya, Thorum, Hodir and Memoron. It can drop from Memoron as well. And you don't have to do these bosses on hard mode. You can do them on normal mode, hard mode. Just run up, kill them, and it has a chance to drop. Okay, now this next one is Yogg-Saron, the final boss of um, Oldwar. And this one is Illusion Blood Draining. Uh, I think you have to do it without the help of any of the keepers. So you do have to do it in hard mode. So make sure you don't talk to any of the keepers that are around this ring. I'm pretty sure. And then with the new changes of Old War, the uh, heroic mode drop is in this chest. So make sure you loot this chest. This one is actually shaman only. Surprise, surprise. And it's from Valithria. Is that your name? Valithria. Yeah, Valithria in Ice Crown. Uh, so she's the healing boss. So you might need to go resto or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but this one is called Earth Living. Illusion Earth Living. Didn't get it. Not surprised at all. Now this next one is Rune of Razor Ice and it's Death Knight only. Let's skip this. Okay. Let's skip the cinematic. Uh, it's Death Knight only and it's from Lich King. And Ice Crown. Obviously. So. Didn't drop it for me but hopefully he drops it for you. Okay, now this next one is called Illusion Power Torrent. And I'm just killing him right now. It's Nefarian. In. Okay, well, everything just filled with lava. But it's Nefarian in Blackwing Descent. And I think I already said this. It's called Illusion Power Torrent. Inventory's full. That's great. Uh, if you kind of forget how to get here, go to Searing Gorge. And it's like right here. Uh, beside Black Rock Mountain. Also, difficulty does not matter. I haven't really been mentioning difficulty in these last ones, but if difficulty does matter, I will say it. All right, so uh, this next one is Shaman Only, and it's uh, Illusion Wind Fury, and it's, as you just saw, from Alakir in uh, uh, Throne of the Four Winds. So that's an oldum. This right down here. Throne of the Four Winds. Uh, no, I did get Companion, though. Now this next one is called Illusion Colossus and it drops off Will of the Emperor. Okay, they're just gonna death grip me around. Drops off Will of the Emperor at the end of uh, this raid. Magrishan Vaults. Uh, which is in Kunlai Summit. Right here. Magrishan Vaults. Uh, difficulty does not matter. It is Illusion Colossus. This next one is in Terrace of the Endless Spring. And it's called uh, Illusion Jade Spirit, and it drops off the Shaw of Pride, which you see I'm uh, attacking now. Okay, well there we go. I kind of forgot the whole heroic mechanic and I can't move because I'm soloing this because uh, I've no one to throw the light to. Anyways, it's called, yeah, uh, Jade Spirit, Illusion Jade Spirit on any difficulty. This is where Terrace of the Endless Spring is. Veiled Stair, Terrace of the Endless Spring. Now this next one is from Nerzul in the Shadow Moon Burial Grounds dungeon in uh, Draenor. And this illusion is called Mark of Shadow Moon. Now in this dungeon, you can skip the uh, second boss. It's the shadowy boss. Uh, you can skip that boss. And since this is a dungeon, if you do it on normal, you can just keep doing it over and over again. Oh, I just got it. Mark of Shadow Moon. You can just keep doing it over and over again. Um, 
until you get the illusion. And another thing to note is that I already have the appearance is that he might not drop loot for you. He has a chance of dropping loot, but he might not. He just cycles through his loot table, and if he doesn't drop anything for you, that means you just can't use the item that he was gonna drop for you. Like for example, he dropped me a male helmet, which I can use if I wanted to. So that doesn't mean you have to run with a group when you do this place. It's just if he is gonna drop the illusion for you, he will. But he's a chance of just giving you no loot at all. This next solution is called Mark of the Shattered Hand. And as you see, it's in High Mountain and it drops off Kargath, Blade Fist, Draenor Nagrand. First boss. Now this next one, still in High Mountain, is actually Shaman only. Uh, but the thing is, I'm doing it on my Hunter because my Shaman's level 100 and cannot solo a Tectus of any kind. Uh, and this one's Illusion Rockbiter, by the way. Now this next one is Mark of Blackrock, which as you see is from Blackhand. Uh, and Blackrock Foundry. If you don't remember where Blackrock Foundry is, it's right up here. Where, wait a second, I need to make sure I don't get knocked off. Okay, killed him. Uh, it, you can do it on normal, I decided to do it on mythic just in case for the mount. Uh, but no, I did not get the illusion or the mount. Now this next one is from Killrog Deadeye in Hellfire Peninsula. Uh, it is soloable at 110, not too difficult. As you see, I'm doing it right now. Uh, if you don't remember where Hellfire Citadel is, right here, Tan and Jungle. Uh, this illusion is called uh, Mark of the Bleeding Hollow. And if you have any bonus roll things for Warlords of Draenor, you can bonus roll it. You can get it any difficulty and you can bonus roll it. So as long as you have bonus roll things, uh, you essentially have like an infinite amount of uh, tries. This next one is called Illusion Nightmare. And it drops off Xavius. Why is Xavius going all the way over there? Anyways, it drops off Xavius in Emerald Nightmare. If you remember where Emerald Nightmare is, it's up here. And it does drop in LFR difficulty. But the thing is, is it's actually super rare drop. Like it's it's like a 1.3% chance. But it does drop off him. Illusion Nightmare. Now this is the last dungeon one. And it is from a Chronomatic Anomaly. This one's called... What is it called? Chronos. Illusion Chronos from Chr Chronomatic Anomaly in Nighthold. You know Nighthold is in Suramar. Uh, uh, Night Nighthold. Nighthold right there. And this is an LFR. You can get it on LFR. Uh, this one's also super rare. It's like a 1.2-ish percent chance. But uh, feel free to do it in LFR instead of normal or heroic if you want. Okay, now these next three I'm going to group up because they're all holiday ones. We're done with all the raids and the dungeon ones. Now we're on to the holiday ones. First one is Illusion Death Frost, which is uh, from the Midsummer Fire Festival, which happens, well, during the summer. You can queue up to fight Ahun, which is a boss during the Midsummer Fire Festival. It puts you in slave pens, you kill him with a group, and he drops this, like, chilled satchel. It has a 6% chance to drop the Death Frost Illusion. And now the next two are Winter's Grasp, and Flames of Ragnaros, which are both from Winter's Veil. Vale. They're from the daily quest where, you know, you kill the Grinch, you take the presents, and then that quest gives you a stolen presence. You open that stolen presence, and it has a chance of giving you Flames of Ragnaros or Winter's Grasp illusions. So you have to wait till uh, Winter's Veil vale for that one, and then Midsummer Fire Festival for the Death Frost one. Now this next illusion is a rogue only illusion and it's called Illusion Poisoned. So here I am in the rogue class hall. Uh, if you have a 110 rogue or I mean 100 rogue, you can come here and you want to talk to Griftaw, who is right here in the rogue class hall. Talk to him, show him your goods, and you can get uh, the illusion right here. It costs 2,000 or 25,000 coins of air. Now to start getting these coins of air, you have to like uh, talk to this guy, do this random small quest series where you buy some things from him, turn it into other things, and then you eventually get this lamp. And then he tells you to get him 10,000 coins of air. A good place to get coins of air is Suramar. I have not discovered Suramar on this guy, but you can go to Suramar, put on your illusion, and then just start pitpocketing everything. You get coins of air from pitpocketing humanoids in Legion. 
And you do want to finish this quest line by him, which I have not finished yet as you can see, because it allows you to pickpocket more coins of error from humanoids. Now doing some more research on this, I mean, there are probably other places that you can get coins of error better. Uh, if you know of good places, you can leave in the comments below. There were some people saying stealth through, like, dungeons. Uh, I'm not really sure which dungeons in particular, but they can yield some coins of error. But I do know Suramar should give some good uh, coins of error. And to my knowledge, 25,000. Uh, doesn't take very long. So yeah, there's that. Now we are finally at the very last illusion, which is called Enchanter's Illusion Primal Victory. So you're going to come to Storm Shield or War Spear, uh, you know, by Ashran. You can pour it here from your garrison. And if you're Alliance, you're going to talk to Holly McTilla. If you're Horde, you're going to talk to Maluka Lightsong. And this one actually does have a criteria for it. As you can see, I cannot buy it. Um, but here it is, uh, Primal Victory, Illusion. You have to have Hero of the Alliance or Horde achievement or Duelist earned during Warlord Season 1, 2, or 3, which I don't have those because I'm a scrub. But that is the very last Illusion. That is it. Those are all the Illusions. I believe I got all of them. Uh, I did actually use a guide for this, so that guide will be in the description. It's a Wowhead guide if you want to check that out. Uh, if there are any Illusions I said wrong and there's easier ways to get them, feel free to let me know. But if you guys like this video, if it was helpful at all to you, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.